Welcome to St. Luke's Chapel. To begin our service today, we will pray for the sick and suffering and for all those for whom our prayers are desired, especially Alyssa Vanderpool, Dorothy Middaw, Donna Lesh, Beth O'Donnell, Steve Frazier, Ann Price, Herb Price, Gail Yost Moika, Nancy Zamoyski, Amy Zamoyski, Kathy Garrett, Katie Ahart, Katie Smith, Larry Padicky, Jackie Padicky, George Bowen, Jerry Gentilly, Cynthia Halstead, Cindy Burdick, Terry Collins, Joseph Robert Cass, Ward Hungerford, Jack Carr, Richard Van Scoy, Gloria Kunzman, Bob Wilcox, Mary Burkle, Greg Thomas, Jean Thomas, Martha Brewster, Bill Palmer, Sally Marks, Ed Gilbert, John, Betty Pierce, Letha Shaler, Mike Scorsese, Monica Paget, Tom Smith, Pamela Whitehill, Emma Burkle, John Irving, Penny Wilson, Patty Van Gorder, Butch Stamer, Arlene Birch Coleman, Virginia Johnson, Lou Ligori, Joanne Conrad, Richard Vanderpool, Carol Sorrell, Ann Frisbee, Nancy Evans, Mike Grover, Lori Lewis, Heidi McNeil, Becky Coons, Richard Kelly, Billy Joe Long, Lynn Wiles, Kate Gowan Whittemore, Jeffrey Hollenbeck, and Carol Bergeson Jordan. We'll also pray for the repose of the souls of those who have died in the hope of the resurrection, Joe Cruz, and the victims of the Miami apartment building collapse.
opening hymns number 26, to the verses 1, 2, and 3.
the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and this weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother, and those who were with him, and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha Quom, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this, and said that she should be given, some, given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Christ. In our prayers today, as we remember the sick and the suffering, I'll ask your special prayers for the victims of the building collapse in Miami. Very tragic thing. And we certainly pray for miracles, as we just heard of a miracle in the gospel. And we pray that we can have some of those miracles in this incident. As we continue our journey as Christians, we are supposed to witness for Christ. As we witness for Christ, it means to come to know him, to follow him, and to be like him. And I think the biggest roadblock in witnessing for Christ is our own humanity gets in the way. We tend to have to confront ourselves. And we create within ourselves a judgment that might be harsher than any judgment that we shall have as we continue our journey. I try to make my journey and my witness for Christ be in my deeds, in my actions. And I try not to make them be deeds and actions that are simply witnessing for the rest on earth, but for Christ and for God. Jesus knew of his spirit. He knew of the spirit of God that dwelt in him because he was of the spirit of God, the son of God. But we come to know that we are all part of the spirit of God. And we can witness for God and witness for Christ in our endeavors to be Christ-like. I try not to judge anyone else's journey in Christ. And I often feel my feathers getting ruffled when somebody judges my journey through faith and in Christ. I remember several years ago, many years ago, I was all ready to do the funeral of a dear friend. And this man came up to me and he says, have you accepted Christ as your savior? And I responded in a way unlike a pastor or a preacher should respond, but in the words that candor folks could understand.
and I informed him that my journey with Christ was between me and Christ. That I did my best to be Christ-like in my endeavor. Well, he was concerned about me. And I assured him because of his judgment and the things he said, he probably should be concerned about himself as well. And that we should try to walk together as Christ told us. That we might have differences of opinion on what faith is about. But we should have no differences of opinion about what the gift of love is about. Matthew 7 tells us, Judge not, that ye be not judged, for with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged also. In my 70 plus years of life, I was always aware of the judgment people have of others. But even more so in recent years. Perhaps it's an awareness that comes about through age. Perhaps it's the distancing of faith in people. This weekend I've been praying for those that graduate from high school at a time when the world is difficult. And they're confronting all kinds of decisions. But as we watch them graduate, we have given them our wisdom, our knowledge, not only in book learning, but we have given them our wisdom spiritually and trust through faith that if they need that wisdom, that they can call upon it. That they can find in their hearts to call upon the God of their understanding. Throughout my life, when I'm confronted with decisions or confronted with unexpected calamity, I immediately say the Lord's Prayer to myself because I know it's the protection of God through His Son, our Savior. And if things really get bad, I start saying the Hail Marys, hoping his mother will be there too. And when in need, the more the merrier. I seldom ask for prayers for myself, but I pray for others. A couple weeks ago I asked to pray for me um, with possible back surgery. I'll know Monday when that's going to happen. But it's very hard for me to pray for myself, and that's wrong. We should all pray for ourselves. We should all pray for the strength of spirit that we may continue to witness for Jesus as an example of love, as an example of his life, as an example in humanity that becomes frail because of humanity. We need to continuously learn about the gift of love. We need to continuously know that we are loved. I think often we were taught you need to love others but not love yourself. But that's arrogant, if you love yourself. But that isn't what Jesus showed us. Whenever I see a, a picture of Jesus in the garden at Gethsemane, 
I think now there's a man that had to get away from everybody to come to know the Lord, as the song just said. He had to remind himself that he was loved. loved by the God of his understanding, and he had to strengthen his spirit because humanity had weakened his spirit. And then he would go back out in humanity and do the things that needed to be done because God had called him to do that. Each of us are called in our own way to serve the Lord. Let us continue to witness for Christ and endeavor to be more Christ-like. Let us not by, be weakened by the judgment of others. Let us not be weakened by our own judgment. Let us be strengthened by the Spirit that dwells within us and come to know the God that gives us our being, that creates in us the person we are. And we all have things about ourselves we don't like. And only we can change those things. And God wants us to be the person that when he breathed his spirit into our being and gave us life, he wants us to continue to be that witness for Christ. He doesn't want us to judge others. He doesn't want us to judge ourselves. It's very simple. He wants us to be ourselves and be who God created in the world in which we live. I think often we worry that the world won't remember us. But I trust everyone here has made a mark that you will long be remembered for who you are, for your goodness, Continue to carry that goodness in the world so that the world can be a better place for the generation yet to come. As we send the graduates out into the world, it is a difficult time. But through your witness to Christ and carrying his love, you can be an example of faith that they can draw upon. How often in our lives do we say, oh, my mother would have said this, my father would have done this, what would my sister or brother have done? Years ago, there was a trend to, what would Jesus do? And if we listen to ourselves in the Spirit of God that dwells in us, the immediate and spontaneous response to what would Jesus do is what we would do because his spirit dwells in us through his example. So let us go forth in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us share together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. The offertory basin will be in the narthex of the church on your way out for those who wish to make a donation. Offertory hymn is number 280, over verses 1, 2, and 3.
Be with their families and friends as they mourn their loss, that their empty hearts may be filled with the consolation of your love and the joyful memories they have shared throughout the year. And now together let us confess our sins unto Almighty God, most merciful God. We confess that we have sinned against you in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We seek forgiveness for these our sins and are heartily sorry for these our wrongdoings. Have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, so that we may return to your path and walk in your ways all our days. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us nod peace to one another here in the chapel, and let us at home embrace each other with peace.
as I take O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. You are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, as we partake of the body and blood of your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that we may be cleansed of our sins and put on a right and new path, and may put body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. Amen. Gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you. Be that in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. All people are invited to share the sacraments. Those who desire to do so, if you would just come forward.
that as we know your spirit dwells in us, that you will lead us on a right path to fulfill all that you ask of us. For your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may he be with us this day and remain with us always. Amen. 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 Our closing song is number two.